thank you very much and i love your braids i must say thank you mm -hmm. and i must say that you look even better without makeup oh gosh <laughs> i know a lot of people will tell you, you that i know a lot of people will tell you. you that but we see that yeah. you're keeping really well during this season with a lot yes. of videos tell us about it yeah. well i mean this season what i decided to do was go on this app and tiktok and just try and do goofy videos now what people don't know about me is that i'm really funny i'm goofy and i love to have a lot of fun and so it's something that i do all the time but this time because we're all really locked down and at home i got the opportunity to just you know show you um the other side of better that people are home and people that have employed are just enjoying so it's it's just been fun entertaining you know trying out new things and i'm just really excited about it so i'm just really goofing about this just having fun Exactly another side of you that a lot of people didn't know, including myself. I see some of the stars comments that, hey, Becca, are you the one? You know, things like that. Everybody gets surprised to see you do a lot of these fun so videos. Me. That's all my staff. It's like, it's me. It's just that people, you barely have the time, you know, to even, you know, have a moment to, you know, crack a joke because most of the time you're promoting your song or you're doing something. So people at home and people that have employed are the ones that really have that chance to see the other side of me. So... Beautiful, and we see a lot of couple goals as well, you know, you and your husband on TikTok as well. Me and my husband are like, you know, I mean, I think he's done two so far, and even that I had to struggle. I'm telling you, the struggle was really real, like to get him to do it, you know, <laughs> and it's, it's also like what we do all the time. I mean, I keep telling people that he's, he's really my friend, you know, and that's the best thing about this, and so... But I don't think I'll get a third one. You guys should pray for me. I'm <laughs> Looks like he's very camera so, shy. The one on the stairs where he was he walking is so away. Camera shy. He doesn't want to come near the camera. He doesn't want to be anywhere. I mean, but please pray for me. I want to do a third <laughs> one, you know, and I'm praying that he does it because he told me that I'm not going to do your TikTok again. <laughs> but at least he featured in the last one. The one you said, baby, yes. I'm going to post this one. Yes. <laughs> so at least you're going to get a fourth feature, maybe. I'm always going to get it, right? Always, oh, somehow. Beautiful. But we, we love your house. We see your, your house in TikTok and we're oh. like, okay, this is beautiful. Oh. No wonder Yen.com says you are the fifth richest uh, musician in Ghana and the first female, richest female re musician, actually, in Ghana. Okay. Well, well thank you very much. I, 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 I appreciate that. Um, I think that... Um, First of all, I it may be so, but I think wealth really is in the heart. It's, it's the kind of person that you are. Um, I do have a beautiful house because, I mean, I love to do a lot of decor. It's something I like to do. And so I tell people all the time that even if the space is so small, somehow I have lots of ideas. I mean, to real estate as well, and that's what people don't know. It's been a family thing. That's what my father does. That's all. He's been doing that. Um, he builds property. He rents. He sells. And so that's what I also do. And that's what I'm aspiring to do. The aim now is to start my own thing, which I've started. So I built a couple of houses, which I've started selling. Some Some I live. Some I don't live in. Some I, you know, I, I move. And some I want to sell. So that's real estate. It's either you build to live, you build to sell, you build to rent. And so that's what I'm doing now, following my father's footsteps. It's something that we do in the family. And I love decor. And so when you come home, yes, you should come home. You see nice pieces at home. I always want small spaces, irrespective of how it is, what location it is at, to be nice. I believe that when you go home, you should be comfortable and happy in your home. And your home should just cheer you up. So, yes. And I see one I beautiful canvas behind you. It tells a lot yes. what you've been telling the others well. Yes, this canvas has followed me for a long time. It's one of those pieces that I never, ever leave behind. I love it so much. I'm into white. I love everything white. But sometimes you just want a pop of color, you know, something that's going to make a house, you know, lighten up a home. And this is one of my favorite pieces there. So I presume if you are into music, the way you talk about real estate, you are being someone who is into real estate and buildings and all that and sale of buildings and lands and all that. Yeah. And, and that's one of the reasons why I spoke um, about, you know, not doing music you know, uh, after this year, not doing music, I in music production, going into the studio and trying to record because I want to focus on my real estate business. I have lands that I want to develop. I have properties that I need, to, property I need to sell, you know, and I'm not able to because I'm always busy on the road trying to record at 2 a.m., 4, 4 a.m. I'm going to this event here. And so I want to concentrate on that also for a couple of years, you know, follow this family legacy that I want to continue doing.
Beautiful. And since you've raised that conversation, let's dwell there a bit. Let's dwell there a bit. So I want to go back to your post, uh, which you just started, that this is the beginning of another decade. What are your plans this decade? And I'll briefly share three of mine with you. Hashtag bless, hashtag yes, I do. I think that was the time yes, I do was on. And I, let's quote all the three things that you posted. He said, one, end my 13-year career. End my 13 years as a recording artist by the end of 2022. Focus on several investments and spend more time with family. Each of these plans is backed with cutting-edge blueprint. As a professional, you need to know when to start and when to let go. I'll be making substantive investments in a worthy and talented artist when I draw the curtains. So... Uh, <laughs> I'm just being told that you're showing us your boss lady cap. Oh, <laughs> that's your mug with the boss lady. We love it. We love it. We love it. That's okay. That's very okay. So I, I decided to read these things to you because what some of the things that you mentioned that that's why you want to end your career as a recording artist. A lot of people didn't get uh, the meaning of recording artists when you put it out there. And a lot of people thought that when you said you end your career by the end of 2020 was like you're not going to do anything. We've seen you release some songs in this year, uh, at least no one, no one. And you thought that you're going to give a smash hit. But let's go back to what you said about ending your 13 year career as a recording artist. Yes. And that's why I, the, I, I love that you ended the, with the word recording. Mm. See, uh, not all artists are recording artists. Some artists really just go to the studio and release songs. But I am a performing artist, you know. That is the main thing. I, I go on stage and I perform. And I am also a recording artist. Now, it means that I have albums that are out there already. It means that I can go on tour. I can still perform for you mm -hmm. on all your weddings and everything. Invite me to come and perform for mm -hmm. you. You know, for... For, I'm going to tour. Um, this year, actually, um, I actually have an album coming out. You wow. know, So my album is going to be out. Yeah, it was it's supposed to be out in June. However, because of this pandemic, I think things have drawn back a bit. But I do have an album that is ready to come out. Um, yes, after this year, I am not... And let me categorically state this again. I'm not going to be recording anymore. So it means that I'm you're not going to be going, going into the studio anymore. I'm not going to be going into the studio anymore. Okay. However, I'm going to be recording... I'm going to be touring, performing. So if you invite me to perform, I'm going to be performing as well. And concentrating more, like I said, on certain things that I feel like, you know, um, will, will also add value to my life, just like um, uh, music has done, that I've kept for so long, that deserves, you know, to be taken care of as well. When you talked so about family, when you talked about family in that post, people were saying, oh, Becca is ready to make more babies. Is that what it means? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I don't know what God has planned for me. Um so if god would give me um, more babies why not you know but i was actually just talking about that my family that i have now my daughter is my family my husband is my family that's you know and then i have other family members also you know that i i, I need to engage more with that i don't have the time to some of my siblings i haven't seen in six years and all that and wow that's also part of the things that i i need yet because Every time it's Christmas, I can't go out of Ghana because that is when there are events and mm -hmm. there are shows, gigs, if mm, we call it. True. And so it's hard for me to go and spend December. That I used to do all the time. Growing up, every summer, every December, we all be in the UK or in America somewhere, gathered together. They still do it. But, you know, as, you know, due to my job, my occupation, which is music, I'm unable to do so. And so I really would like to make time to spend with the family. My, my daughter, my husband, and my, my whole family at large. How is the little one doing? You've mentioned her, so let's talk about her for a bit. How is she doing? Yeah. She's doing very well, thank you. She's doing, she's running around now. Um, it's exciting as a mother to see, you know. I, I, I didn't envision it at all. Now I say I respect mothers. I've always respected mothers, but now the respect is 100 times more. The ability to be able to take care of somebody else, either or either than yourself, is so beautiful. She's running around, she's growing so fast, and uh, it's such a beautiful sight. Was that to say that the video you show there is of you and her play is an old video? Very old video. <laughs> so you played a trick on us. We thought you thought it was a very new video. Uh, no, very very old video. The video that you know was out there um, was quite old actually. She. She was probably not even 10 months yet, or almost 10 months. Wow. Did you ever say to anyone that you are never going to and put... I, and, and, mm -hmm. that video was, and that video was actually, you know... Um... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you said. I, I was so eager to hear that. 
you know, nobody confirmed anything. You know, nobody asked who it was anyway. So. Okay, so because I was just going to ask it you that. Be my child. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you that. Did you ever say that you are never going to put your child's face on social media until she's of age? I did. I did say that. So you I've broke your own rules then. And I speak to that. Oh, you broke the rules already. Well, maybe that wasn't my child. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to escape I, i'm sure that those who know her know uh, already whether she is or she is that's not that's the truth you know I, I because because i said that i would never put a picture out there how do you even know if i put a picture out there the video out there well it looks like you confirmed in a way or you the other already <laughs> you, you confirmed in a way or the other well, already let's see <laughs> but let's, let's go let's keep it that way <laughs> <laughs> let's go on to talk about your career you were named as one of the artists or female artists who has been relevant within the last decade and you're it's still relevant we're in a new decade you're still relevant how have you kept your relevance over the years because i've seen people drag you on social media and say becca where she has not released a song in a long while why are you nominating her for this award she doesn't deserve to be there but you have all through it kept your relevance how do you manage actually um I, 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 I manage it quite well, and it clearly tells me that the people who um, would say that I don't have a release song in a long time actually do not follow Becca, and I clearly know Becca fans, because I do release songs, and I think I've released songs almost every year for about 14 years. Mm -hmm. I have consistently been releasing songs in Ghana, and you know it goes everywhere. Now, what people don't know is that awards are not just alone, uh, not just, you know, what you could constantly keep, re re I mean, I don't release 10 songs a year or five songs a year, but if you check my streams, if you are in the back end and you check how much streams and downloads that I have every month or quarterly, then you'd be astonished because um, most of the awards that I'm nominated for are not even, you know, I'm, I was in space in Ghana. They're also outside of Ghana as well. And they have particular, um, they pay attention to other things, either, either things, um, not just only how popular your song is in your country or anything, but they pay attention to how much downloads and streams, as well as, you know, um, YouTube views and all that. So those are some of the th factors that I think people always neglect. They think that it's just how much, how popular somebody is singing your song. Somebody's song might be popular, but only has, you know, 30,000 views, you know, uh, or very few downloads and streams. But if you go to the back end and you check my streams, I think I'm doing pretty well and I do deserve every award that I'm nominated for. And, you know, doing this for 14 years and being consistent, man, I think I need to be applauded. Um, not to blow my own trumpet, but I have tried as much as possible, not just to keep my name as Becca and in music industry, but to keep the name of Ghana, you know, um, music industry also, you know, for a very, very long time out of Ghana as well. We clap for you in the studio here. But let's go back to your resolutions you. for 2020. Have you found that artist that is worth your money, worth your investment yet? We are in April. There are so many, so many of them that I've already spoken to, so many of them that I have come in contact with, so many of them that have contacted me, so many that I feel have so much talent. And see, that's one of the reasons why I think I need to take a little break. People and artists do sign artists, but I have a policy. I have something that I believe in, and I believe that an artist cannot, that's mine. I want to be able to do it so well. I want to be able to sign an artist and not be selfish, because no matter what it is, we're human beings. And I want to sign somebody that I wholeheartedly, you know, give my all to and not think, oh my God, that could have been me, or that could have been me. Um, I, I think that when I, when I finally take that break, you know, you're going to see the artists that I have chosen, and it will be it will be an it will be something something to be. So, to, just wait for it. So we are adoring these artists in 2021. That 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 should be one one hundred percent. And are we looking at a male or female artist? That is what I'm not telling you. You know, <laughs> you, know you know the ladies will not be happy if you go for a male artist. You know that. You you know me. You know, so, so what I believe in is I believe in talent, you know. I believe in talent and I believe also, I'm feminist, right? I believe in talent, but people need to remember that I am a businesswoman and I'm going into business. And so if it's a female artist that is super, I'm definitely going to sign that person on. If it is a male artist that is super, I'm going to sign that person on as well. I'm always going to be biased towards, you know, women. Uh -huh. You all know. Uh -huh. <laughs> However, uh -huh. you know, I think that together with the team, we're going to select the best person to, to carry on this mantle. Hopefully it's a woman. All right, uh, we're going to have two, two or three more questions, then we can let you go. Yes. So, uh, yes. 
I have been tempted to ask how you are able to manage the trolls on social media. Mm. Yeah. We, so, see, the thing is that I, um, I have this quote that I say all the time. That, see, your people that troll you, right, are usually your enemies. Mm. Okay? Um, I don't think that when you love somebody so much, you won't give them an opportunity to explain themselves. Mm. See, a lot of times I'm quiet because I believe that's the best way to do things. I believe that when you're quiet about things, it passes. And I don't see the need to constantly defend yourself when you know deep down that, you know, you are, have not done anything wrong to people. So you have people who are hiding behind the scenes, you know, and pushing, hiding behind their phones, you know, who do not are, or are unable to come out to really show themselves, who are just trolling you and constantly trolling you and trolling you. But, but you know what? I keep saying even Jesus Christ was trolled. Mm. Even the one who came on earth to save us was trolled. How much more me, Becca? Who am I? You know, I'm just a humble servant of God. You know, I'm just a woman that he created. And so these are things that are part of life. These are things that come in your life. These are things that you have to overcome, especially when you have set yourself aside to be a public figure. So I am not the only person that is trolled. However, it is the ability to be able to deal with that situation. How are you able to deal with it? Mine is just silence because I believe that silence is really golden. It might be a cheeky, you know, old saying, but it is golden. I'm not going to give my enemies the opportunity or the platform to, to think that they've defeated me because they never defeat me. It's only mm. a matter of time and it just goes away. Do you, do you tend to think that some of these shows come from people in the industry who are your um, colleagues? Of course, of course. I mean, it, it has, I mean, it's, it cannot just be, it's not... There might be people, ordinary people out there as well, but definitely there, there's going to be some who come from the industry. Now, I'm asking rumors, this because of... Uh -huh. Rumors are started by enemies, mm -hmm. accepted by fools, and spread by ignorance without confirmation. Wow. That's a quote I'm sure people will begin to pick already. But uh, yes. I, I asked this question because of you. When you released Yes, I Do, Ghana was happy. Everybody was talking about it. Becca, Tiwa Savage. People were singing it. And then when you decided to give us a smash for 2020, uh, no one, it became an mm. issue. At a point, no. you had to even block your comment section. Mm. I blocked it because it was not necessary to have people that, you know, are coming to put anything negative on my on my platform. I don't like negativity. You know, I'm very, very positive. I'm a very positive person. And whatever situation that I find myself in, if you followed me for the past 14 years, you realize that I barely say much because um, I'm very positive, honestly. I don't like negativity around me. I like people that will make you smile, people that understand that you are human and you make mistakes. However, no one, I believe, is a smush hit. Now, let me explain to you why I say it's a smush hit because... Um, as much as people are trolling you and talking about you in Ghana, you know what? My stumbler one was number two trending one beat um, in South Africa. Wow. Now, that, that's the irony of life. People at home were trolling you and talking about my song, but my song was number two in South Africa. Guess what song was number one? Tell me. John Cena by, by Shoma Josie. The song people were seeing had copied. Now, okay. people need to be give themselves an opportunity to be educated. Now, when I say educated, it is this. It's as simple as this. People clearly do not understand the kind of music that I release. It sounded like somebody else's song. And so are all gum beats, G-Q-O-M. Gum beats all sound alike. Now, in fact, if your song you claim is gum beats does not sound like all gum beats, then it's actually not gum beats. Now, in South Africa, there is... South African um, house, there is Waito, there is Ama Piano, and there is Gombeat. Now, the good thing is that I featured the sing one of the main women who are the founders who started Gombeat, which is Busi Sua. So, now, this is it. Would you actually think that she would take weeks and weeks to go through my song, listen to it, and actually feature on it if she thought it was a copied song? No. She didn't think so because they all sound alike. They created Gumbeat and they understand it. Now, I do understand why people in Ghana were trolling me because the, the one very song that has crossed the South African market, which is Gumbeat, will be John Cena. And so it's a song that is peculiar. And that's the only song that they understand and have heard. 
you know and so that's the only song that you could compare my song to but i would challenge them to go and listen to destruction boys listen to um Usisua, listen to dj tira listen to um baby Oduma, and then tell me if they all do not sound alike DJ Maporisa, they all sound alike. Now, I didn't say the same, they sound alike. Because if you listen to my song, No One, and you listen to John Cena, it's like four bars of similar things. But even so, after that, the mechanism is totally different. So if you want to go to the back, you have people who are good, who are good producers. They can go and break it down and see if the mechanisms are all the same. They are quite, the same. They are quite different. They might sound alike, but it's not the same mechanism. But Gone Beat, naturally, GQOM, it's supposed to sound alike. If I play 10 gum beats to you right now, you'll be quite confused. You'll say, but it's the same song I'm listening to, but it's not. Definitely, you, know, you, 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 are, you are disappointed by all that you heard. I'm sure from the way you are emotionally talking about it, you are disappointed. Yeah, I, I was. It's, I felt like it was naivety, you know, and I felt like people should have just asked these questions. And I felt like, but people who knew it knew it. And so I wasn't really worried about it. Um, I understood where people were coming from. Like I said, John Cena was the only song that they really, really knew. Like one of the only songs that had crossed the South African shores, you know, that come here that was very popular. And so people understood that more. And it really did sound like my song because it's supposed to sound alike, you know. Mm -hmm. And but like I'm saying, my song was number two, you know, number two in South Africa. Whilst Ghanaians were bashing you beat. here. Unfortunately, we have exactly. to let so you go. My it's one of the songs that we love so much. We have to let you go. And thank God that uh, we never even heard from John Cena. Uh, sorry, um, so much Josie saying that you're stolen her song. So I guess that it, it, there's nothing to worry about. They don't even know my relationship with her. That's <laughs> oh, that's you have a good so relationship with her. Laughing. I'm sure she was just laughing, thinking, ah, my man. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so whilst we're worried here <laughs> thank you very much becca whilst we're worried here show us josie was laughing and you have a great relationship with her you're telling us and that's becca and having, uh, a lot, having a lot of fun but the most important thing is that your the Ghanaian song no one was number two on the gum gum beat you know um, um platform in south africa so thank we'll you very much. Thank you very much. I will continue to love it here uh, in Ghana thank and support you, you uh, as much as we can. And that's Becca. And I need to tell you about GoTV, your loyalty to the GoTV family. That is why we are giving you a free upgrade on your next package. Simply stay connected and get upgraded to the next higher package at no cost. 